Songpon TV, Episode 1. Hi and welcome to Songpon.tv or SPTV. My name's Ben Edwards and I'll be your host taking you through tons of excellent jam-packed quality guitar-related news, tips or tricks so long as you choose to keep tuning in. So, what is Songpon TV? Well, SPTV is a fortnightly webcast or newscast type TV channel proudly brought to you by songpond.com which is a fantastic brand new website where you can learn your favorite songs. So why is SPTV any different to any of the other webcast or newscast type guitar related programs on the internet? Well, one key ingredient with that is that Songpon TV is user or viewer directed. What I mean by that is, the evolution of the show will change depending on what you write in to tell us. You get your say in what you'd like to see covered with the episodes that are coming up. Have you ever been watching a TV show or a webcast or podcast and ever thought, man, these guys aren't covering exactly what I want to know? Well, now is a chance for you to have your say. On this webpage is a Have Your Say link. If you click this link at any time, you can contact us, send us your comments about what it is you'd like to see in the episodes coming up. We'll do our best to make sure this show evolves around user and viewer directed content and requests. Of course, with thousands of people contacting us, we can't do all of the requests at once, but I can guarantee you we will read every single one of your emails each week. So do have your say. It's totally up to you. You decide what it is that you'd like to see. Maybe you'd like to see tips, guitar tricks, longer techniques. Maybe you want me to cover news, guitar related reviews of gear, maybe a new guitar or a new amp that's come out. Maybe you just want me to talk about and review a killer new guitar album that's just been released. Whatever it is you want to see, let us know and we'll do our best to make sure it happens for you. Okay, don't forget to hit that have your say link today. If you're watching this video on YouTube, MySpace, Facebook or any other website other than songpond.tv, unfortunately the Have Your Say link will not be on that page. You'll need to get yourself to www.songpond.tv to be able to have your say with the upcoming episodes. So go there now and check it out if you haven't done already. Okay, on to today's lesson. Now today's lesson is more focused for beginners. It's going to be a technique lesson. We're going to look at uh, if you're a beginner that's been playing oh, for a wee while, you know some open chords. This isn't for complete beginners. And if you're advanced, yes, you, you may find this a little bit boring, but this is a perfect chance for you to watch and then have your say about what it is you want to see. But for today, we're going to look at a technique that if you've at the end of a beginner's road and you're a little bit stuck and you're not sure where to take it next, I'm going to show you one thing that you can apply to every single one of your open chords that you play that'll just make you sound so much more professional and it'll just really open up your playing. So join me in just a second when I'll grab the guitar and we'll have a look at what it is I'm talking about. Cool, see you soon. Okay, so as I mentioned, we're going to look at one thing. It's very simple and sometimes in these Songpon TV techniques or tips, it might just be one thing and one thing that I can show you and if it's at the uh, specific level that you're at, it could just really get you going and unlock your playing just, just for another couple of weeks until we're back for the next Songpon TV episode. Okay, this particular trick or technique is a hammer-on. Now if you're not familiar with what hammer-ons are, uh, it's effectively when you play the guitar and then your fretting hand will just hammer on to the strings um, to create kind of two notes. For example, if I just play the A minor chord, just straight without a hammer on, it sounds like that. If I strum the A minor chord while I lift up my second finger and then hammer it on to the string, you can hear that happening. And essentially, that's all we're going to look at. It's that simple. Now, if you're beyond this, then of course you're going to find this quite boring. But again, click the Have Your Say link and let us know what you want to see. This is ideal for people who have already gotten down some open chords, the real simple ones, an E major, A minor, 
D major, G major, C major, those types of open chords, if you've just started, you're used to those, you've got your changes down, you're familiar with the guitar, you're pretty confident with strumming, this is just going to help really develop your sound. Let's look more closely at exactly how the technique actually works and then listen to it in some form of context and then you can actually start taking it away and practicing it. If we take the A minor chord like we had just before this example, normally as you know if you're in this position you'll know that first finger goes in the first fret of the B string, second finger second fret of the D, third finger second fret of the G string. It's the same shape as the E major shape, just up one, and the root note is the open A string. So we hit, we do some target strumming, and we hit from the A string down. That's the ideal, that's an A minor chord. Most of you know that. If you're a complete beginner, stop, pause me, and just make this shape with your guitar. You need to press quite firmly from the A string down, nice and ringing, nice and clear. That's the A minor chord, that's fine. That's a, a nice, straight, open A minor chord. If we have a very boring strum, just for the sake of showing you how this technique works, just going down, 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 so down on the one, two, three, and four, a four bar, a four count bar. One, two, three, four. Down, 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 down. That's pretty boring, right? That's fine. Just get that down in your head, you know that that's, this, that's the case. On the second and fourth time down, on the second count and the fourth count, so one, two on that one, and three, four, what we're going to do on the second and fourth is lift, just before we strike to strum down, we're going to lift our second finger, so you'll hear the open, sorry, the open D, this open D string, that's the, how you'll hear it, and then as it's, you'll strum it like that, and then as it's ringing, you just hammer that back into place, where it should be for that chord. So one, first strum, down, it's normal. Second strum, we play that with it lifted, and then just hammer it on after you've strummed. Not on the third one, between the second and third strum. So one, two, three, four, one, 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 two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, that doesn't sound super exciting just by itself. I'm just highlighting how the actual technique works. If you can imagine picking the pace up, the actual tempo of that strum up to a faster tempo, and maybe putting in some up strums. All of a sudden it's got some momentum. What I'm trying to get you to learn is just the technique of hammering on within the chord. 